Alright, my name's Hunter and this is Brennan. We will vacuum one, the right side of the fish tank today. We only vacuum one side because we don't want to take out too much of the beneficial bacteria. This bacterium helps control the ammonia levels of the water. Ammonia is a poison, so too much of it will harm the fish. We will explain first, then we will vacuum. Alright, so it's important to vacuum the tank because it sucks up the excess food and the fish's waste. These two materials need to be controlled because they both produce or contain ammonia. Vacuum right here. The vacuum is a siphon. To get started, we will fill this smaller part of the tube right here. Um, fill the smaller part of the tube with water, making sure there are no air bubbles. But then we will we'll show you how to do this after we explain. Then we fill the thick part of the tube right here with water, make sure the air doesn't get into the thin part of the tube right there. Next. Next, we just tip the tube so that it's vertical. Then we move the tube up and down, if you want to demonstrate. Move it up and down to loosen the food and waste so it can be sucked up. We jab with it instead of stirring because it allows us to get more of the food and waste vacuumed up. We stopped after we have taken out the correct number of gallons. After four gallons, we have to empty the bucket because it's a five gallon bucket. We can't fill it too full. So. We now do this. Now it's okay. time to vacuum. Okay. First, First, we have to rinse our hands, and we don't use soap because the soap will hurt the fish. Hurt the fish. Just rinse them with regular tap water. So here we go. It's okay to dry your hands with paper towel too, because paper towels don't have anything. On them. Except paper. <laughs> Yay. So, Brandon, place your finger on him, too. Can't see, honey. Okay, let go. Okay, tap it. Hold on, I forget what I'm doing. Yeah, we have an air bubble. No, we don't. Let go. Now give me room to record. And now we're back on the right side, just like this. And the reason you jab it is that you can get more of the food when you jab it like this. As you can see, there's not too much food because, as you can see, the fish have been basically eating it. Um, and you can see how it sucks up these pebbles like right here? That helps us to get any of the food and waste that's clinging to them or underneath them. Get out, fish. And we'll vacuum until we have 10 gallons taken out. We'll show you what you do. We'll show you what we do. I mean, and sometimes you actually do, like, rub it on the bottom. It does help sometimes to get it. But we're, as you can see, we only do the right side. Because, like, if you said in our strip, we take up too much of the beneficial bacteria. So we do that too. Our water is almost, well, our water is to the four uh, gallon mark. So, so we we're going to have Dakota um, dump it for us. Um, he'll just, he just takes it in the sink and dump it. So, Nick will follow. Nick Back here, Dakota. As you can see, my thumb's over the water so we don't get any leaks all over our floor. 
now which our custodian doesn't like just, very much. You know, least, now I just let go and we start vacuuming again. So that was four gallons taken out. We have six more. As Hunter was saying, it's important to get behind the aerator and around the filter and stuff. Because there's also a lot of waste back there that you can't see. One more add-on. If Hunter would suck a fish up, they find their way out all the way up to this. Like this. You just gotta lift, you just gotta lift the tube until the fish and yeah, they just find their way out. We already have eight gallons dumped, so this time we only need two. So we'll fill it to the two gallon mark and then dump it. Now to finish it, Hunter would just lift the vacuum out of the water, as seen here. And you see the air coming up. And then all I do is let go, and the rest of the water drains into the bucket. Or and you then, could take it and put it back in the fish tank. Or you could put it back in the fish tank, but that'd be just extra hassle. Dakota will dump it like last time, and we'll get Nick and Dakota out here to change the water for us. Yep. Hello, I am Nick, and this is Dakota, and we are going to refill the tank and dechlorinate the water jugs. We are going to take all these jugs that are in the fridge right here and put them and put them back in uh, the tank. Right now we are in the storage room getting the um, the jugs. Get them. Tell them we need ten. We need ten jugs. Because we took ten out. We took ten out, cause, so we need ten more jugs. Stay out of the shop. Sorry. What are you doing in class? Is this a meeting in our class? Yo, man. As you can see, Nick and Dakota are now dumping the gallon jug full of water into the fish tank. How many gallons is this, Dakota? This is seven gallons that we put in. Now we only need three more. And you can see they are putting in the last two gallons. Chlorination liquid. Tell them the chlorine can hurt the fish. What? The chlorine can hurt the fish. Yes. Chlorine can hurt the fish and like, yeah. So we'll put one drop of this dechlorination in each gallon of water that is empty. After we are done here, we will refill all of these jugs and then we'll let them sit out for one day. And then the failed ones that are on the counter, we will put back in the refrigerator. Do you want to do that now? Do that now? These five-gallon buckets, you only, we only fill them up to four gallons, and we put four drops of that dechlorinated water, kind of stuff, in that, because there's only four gallons. Now we will start to refill the water jugs. So we slide it down the counter and put them back here. And that, we'll just keep this process going until we fill all the jugs and we fill the refrigerator full of water. Jug. We will be back after we're done filling the jugs. Nick is filling up jug number 9, getting ready to do jug number 10, and then we will be done filling up the jugs. 
This is the dechlorinator tap water conditioner. We use this to dechlorinate all these jugs right here. And the big jug. We use this to put it in here and get the uh, tap water conditioner stuff out. And then we go like this and put it in like that. So, this is a. Wrap up, so I'll show you how to vacuum.